A very exciting day for the young children of Israel as preschools are reopened today. And after over two months that they've spent locked at home, kids are finally going back to kindergarten. Now, this is coming with a set of rather complicated instructions and restrictions in order to prevent a mass infection of coronavirus through kindergartens. Each kindergarten is limiting the amount of kids that could arrive at it. And the group of kids that are arriving is divided into two groups. Each one of these groups is only coming to kindergarten for three days a week. And when they arrive at the kindergarten, they are also uh, divided into two groups, all in order to minimize contact between kids and allow them at some format to go back to school. We've spoken earlier today to a kindergarten teacher in Ramla about the excitement of going back to school. To tell you the truth, I wasn't afraid because we got ready in advance. The team got a briefing from the authorities. I spoke also with the kindergarten team in advance, first by Zoom and then by meeting them. We organized the kindergarten in the best way possible, thinking on all the little details that will be needed. There are still parents who are a little afraid to send their kids. Uh, the fear could be understood as during the last two months, everyone had their kids just right next to them, and all of a the sudden they need to send them to a place with more people, uh, and this became quite frightening for most people. Here's what Irena had to tell us about preparing the parents uh, for this day of reopening the preschools. When I spoke with the kids and parents, I told them that it's okay to be worried. It's okay to have concerns and to ask questions. And you have to voice these concerns. And as you see today, the kids are playing and excited. With young kids going back to preschools, some of the parents can at least start to work. Even if not all workplaces are reopened, it's a first step that allows people as lockdown is lifted to go back to normality, to go back to work, uh, and maybe it will allow the Israeli economy to start slowly recovering uh, from the very long freeze it has been to during the last two months.